that the back leg it's in line with the heel okay so it's about a foot or even half a foot um, away and then the big toe is in line with the heel now the next important thing is that your ribs come over your midfoot okay so let your ribs travel over your midfoot so all the weights through my midfoot the heel is on the floor the front leg but all the weights through the midfoot okay then what i'm going to do next is i'm going to relax my neck okay keep my ribs forward relax my neck and then i'm going to reach down to the floor okay i'm going to touch the floor i'm going to keep my chin tucked throughout the movement and i'm going to push through my midfoot to come back up again okay now the key thing here is we keep my chin tucked throughout the whole movement as i come up i don't want to lift my neck and use my back okay so that stays tucked throughout the whole movement the other big thing here is i want to keep that knee angle throughout the movement so when i come down i don't want to bend my knee i want to keep it stable throughout the whole movement so as i come down i want to reach with my fingertips keep my chin tucked all the way through the midfoot and then as i come up I want to make sure that knee stays at that same angle while keeping my chin tucked, okay? What I don't want to see is my knee snapping back. That means that I've lost the tension through the midfoot, okay? So keep the ribs forward over the midfoot, keep pushing through the midfoot, and you can see the angle of the knee will stay the same. As I said, if you don't have enough tension through the midfoot, you'll start to see your knee will snap back, and then you're going to have to use your lower back to come back up again, okay? So last time, ribs forward, Relax my neck, reach with my fingertips, touch the floor, push through the midfoot, and then keep my chin tucked throughout the movement, okay? So even here, I'm finishing the movement right up at the top here. I'm not finishing here, okay? So keep pushing through that midfoot, and then you'll notice that your hip might even travel a little bit forward at the top of the movement. Okay, so you're gonna do that for six to 12 reps, depending on what your therapist told you, two to three sets, either on the right leg or the left leg. So the left leg, exact same. Ribs forward, relax your neck. You're gonna slouch down, touch the floor, okay? And then push through your midfoot, and then push, 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 and then finish the movement at the top. So you can see my chin is tucked 